Annalise Parks joining us now. You've been keeping an eye on this. What's the biggest thing to look at now? Is it the force of the winds? Is it how strong this thing's going to get? Well, it's, it's a progression. So initially, the storm surge, the winds. You talk about Miami being out of power. They are so far from seeing really the, the heart of this storm. The center of circulation is just off the coast of Cuba. It is crawling northwest at six miles an hour. So a long way to go, of course, before those strongest winds work their way across southern portions of Florida. Let's take a look. In case you missed this earlier, we are following this track. 120 mile per hour max sustained winds right now, keeping Irma at a category three major hurricane status. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., tracking that over Key West. And then following this path, it looks like the west coast of Florida is still going to see that center of circulation as it crawls up that coast from around Fort Myers up to Port Charlotte, perhaps another landfall. This is tomorrow evening. Still incredible winds of 120 miles per hour or so. There's still the chance Irma could strengthen as we get into later tonight with it being over open waters. And then look at this. Northern Florida still talking a Category 1 hurricane before finally weakening and dumping a lot of rain there across the Mid-South. And that's early next week. So several days we'll be watching this. The storm surge is really the, one of those first things you start to focus on as a hurricane makes landfall. So storm surge, uh, of course, going to be the worst of this is going to be on that southwestern edge of Florida where they could see 10 to 15 foot storm surge from around uh, the Naples area up to Fort Myers. In addition to that, damaging winds are always a concern and they're already starting to see some incredible winds. The wind gusts around Miami 35 miles per hour. Look at these portions. Key West already seeing 60 mile per hour winds. As we track those very strong and damaging winds, those dark or those brighter colors in the orange, you can see those Look at Key Largo. That's tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's up to 110 plus mile per hour winds. And then the heart of those winds traveling right along the west coast of Florida as we track it Sunday into Monday. Here in North Texas, it's been incredibly quiet. A totally different feel for us. A little bit more of a fall feel. The humidity staying very low. Temperatures dropping off nicely at night. Here we sit in the mid to upper 70s across North Texas and even some locations close to the Red River in the mid to upper 60s. You can see Sherman 68 degrees. How about those numbers? It feels like our actual temperatures. Humidity stays low. Dew point staying in the 50s. And we're going to keep this feel for at least a few days before high pressure starts to build back in. That'll happen by the middle of the week and it will eventually bring the heat back at least a little bit for us later on this week. But until then, enjoy sunshine, temperatures slowly jumping up. 90s are back by Wednesday, Thursday. A little bit more what you might expect this time of the year late in the week. For tonight, 65 degrees. Tomorrow, we're back in the mid-80s. And looking ahead to next week, plenty of sunshine, rain-free forecast warming up by the middle of the week.